Hi there, so in this video we're going to pick up from where we left off in the last one. So in the last one we just set up a very basic SupaBase plus SvelteKit project, and now in this one we're going to actually add some data to our tables. So we have a button that signs the person up in the last video, we did that, and now we're going to have this little add room um, button that adds a room from here. So come to SupaBase, this normal one, and or the homepage, and come down here, create a record. We're just going to use this right here. And we're gonna paste that into this little boilerplate I set up. Um, so basically we're just binding value to a room and then when they click the room, it's gonna run this right here. So you'll see, so we have await superbase dot from rooms. So this is the name of the table and then insert this right here. Okay, so instead of the name superbase fan club, we're just going to put room like that. Public, true. Um, how about size big? Okay, so these are the two. So it's a room with a name and a size. Okay, so we add room. Um, let's come back over here to our dashboard and create this table. So go to table in the top left, new table. It's gonna be called rooms. So it's gotta have the same name as whatever we're calling it there. Uh, and then it'll have this ID in four, that's fine. So save, and this will just create the table, and from there we can add the columns. So we have a name column and a size column. So name is going to be type text, and I think these are Postgres types. Uh, allow empty, sure. Save, and then we'll have another column called size type. Let's just make this also text. Uh, okay, save. So if we want, we can add something here ourselves. So I could just um, add a new row myself, like um, Svelte Fan Club, size, big, for sure. And then um, it would add it there, but let's try adding it from, just with this function here. So come back here, and we're going to say Superbase Fan Club, add room. And I should have console.logged it or something, but that's okay. Let's just look at the network tab. So it posted here and you see it got a 201. Um, you can look into that, but let's just come back here and refresh. And there we go. So now we have a Superbase fan club also that we just added. Okay, so that's how you can do it. Um, one thing to note is that all of this data is public data. So anyone that signs up to your app can insert, delete, update any of the data here. So. We're just doing the default configuration right now, but in another video, we'll look at how you can restrict access to different rows based on who's logged in. Let's also look at how we can read from it, read a record. So it's kind of similar to SQL, but let's take a look right here. Let's copy this in. Public room, so from room, select name, comma, um, let's just do name, comma, size. So async function get rooms, and then move this down. Okay, where public is true, we don't care about that, we remove public, so name size, um, public rooms. So let's just return this. So it doesn't need to be an async function. It's a little messy, but let's use this await block. So await get rooms. And uh, then response, let's just show this as a JSON object. So response null two. Okay, so these will be all our rooms. Uh, what's wrong here? Uh, okay, just loading. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, cool, so we'll see. Here with this you know, very simple function, uh, get rooms, we can get all the rooms, so data right here. So it gives us also the status, uh, text, body, data. Okay, it's, I don't know why there's both of those, but um, yeah, anyway, we have access now to all of our rooms with data. So it won't, you know, I can add another one, like view fan club. I can add that room, but it won't update right away, so I gotta refresh, uh, and now it's, Oops, BU fan club. 
now it's there. But um, in the next video, we will look at real-time subscriptions, uh, and uh, we'll look at that. But yeah, we could probably also, rather than select name, size, if you want everything, you can just do star. That should work also. Let me come back here. Oh, where is it? Here it is. Uh, yeah, that works also. Okay, cool. So that's all for this video, and have a